friends i am doing a surgery after two weeks after coming back from ASCRS at los angeles how do you feel when you do surgery after two weeks if you are a regular surgeon if you do surgery after two weeks you feel that you haven't done surgery for many months so the same feeling is with me i've started the case this is a very soft cataract the patient is a very young lady 42 years old the cataract is soft and the nucleus is very soft and i know that in this case it will not be possible to chop the nucleus i have to manage this case in some other ways by this time main incision and two side ports have been made now I'm going to incise the anterior capsule with the 26 gauge bent cystitum that I made at the beginning of the surgery. And now I hold this capsular tag with the uterus forceps, rest against the anterior clip of the main incision. This is very important. If you press against the anterior leaf of the main incision leakage of viscoelastic substance is very minimal and you can complete the rexis very well and when i do rexis i try to remain at equal distance from the margin of the dilated pupil thus in most of the cases i am able to achieve around rexis now in this case hydro dissection and hydro delineation has been done and a beautiful golden ring has formed hydro dissection is not very good but doesn't matter it will occur as i play with fluid inside now see how the nucleus comes i'm just playing with the teeth of the phaco handpiece sometimes it is beveled down sometimes sideways now i am trying to pull the thick epinucleus and as i told as i as the fluid wave goes around hydrodissection arcus natural hydrodissection as dr naran bardali says he does surgery without hydrodissection in all cases and now a lot of cells a lot of cortical matter is there in this case let us see how to clean these cortical matter first i'm going to use a simco cannula this is a 23 gauge simco cannula from apasami associates very nice thin slender simco cannula I have got a coaxial IA from Los Angeles. I'm going to use that very soon. And in this case, I can see that there are a lot of cells sticking to the posterior capsule. If I try to pinch and release the posterior capsule, once in a while I can make a small PC rent. So nowadays what I do is I take the irrigating probe of the bimanual and this jet of fluid is applied to polish the posterior capsule. The posterior capsule is being irrigated and all the cells get dislodged. Now I'm going to aspirate but I can see some more cells are there at 11 o'clock and I'm going to use the same jet of fluid from the irrigating probe to dislodge those cells. And that's it. A very nice polishing of the posterior capsule has occurred. And in this case, I have selected a Hoya intraocular lens it's a hydrophobic intraocular lens and I am using this lens for the last three years 
haven't seen any glistening till now and this is the IOL and this is the most beautiful most elegant preloaded system in the industry and this is compatible to 2.2 millimeter incision and if the incision is 2.8 millimeter it goes into the entry chamber easily as you see in a very short while there it is the incision has not been enlarged and but the see the cartridge tip of the cartridge goes inside the entry chamber and here it is the lens is being delivered in the capsular bag the leading haptic has gone into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is dialed and sent to the equatorial region of the capsular bag this lens takes longer time to unfold it unfolds gently but it unfolds faster in viscoelastic substance if I use only irrigating fluid it uh, unfolds more slowly and now is the time to remove the viscoelastic substance I take a lot of time in removing the viscoelastic substance I take almost two minutes to remove the viscoelastic substance first I use this Simco cannula irrigate the anterior chamber the capsular bag and this is the fast wash remove most of the viscoelastic substance about 70 percent of visco is removed now I remove I use the irrigating probe only again irrigate the anterior chamber the angles and whatever viscoelastic substance is there it comes out I again go behind the eye well irrigate the capsular bag and some more viscoelastic substance come out so this is the second wash and now I use both irrigation and aspiration I call it the third wash for removing the viscoelastic substance and now I use a bit of moxifloxacin here it goes and then I use BSS to hydrate the sideboards in most of the cases my main incision doesn't require any hydration I had it the sideboards and I give a final wash so this is the fourth wash to remove the viscoelastic substance this is a view under higher magnification and at this time the viscoelastic substance that is that sticks to the endothelium comes out I use the Simco to remove the visco from the endothelium so this is the fourth wash so four times I have in four stages I have removed the viscoelastic substance and how the chamber is formed this is the final point that's it the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention